Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So you probably noticed that the past two weeks I have not been uploading as much videos like I usually do. I probably only uploaded maybe one or two videos of the past two weeks. Um, and there's a reason for that and that's because I was uh, really addicted to building um, this little bad boy here which I'm going to slowly pan down to show you guys. Oh, there we go the Bugatti uh, Chiron, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so this is uh, by Lego, of course. Um, it's by their uh, Technic series. Um, and where they released, I think a couple of years ago, uh, the Porsche 911, I think it was. Um, and this year they went even much more bigger and crazier because uh, that one was like 2000 pieces. This little guy right here, 3,000 pieces. Um, so it took me two weeks to do. Um, I was doing it after when I was to finish the work, um, sometimes before work, 30 minutes before work. I'll, I'll continue it. And today on Saturday, I finally finished it. So what's new with this car? Uh, well, it, it looks almost exactly like the real thing, of course. Now, the only difference, of course, is price. Um, I don't have to pay $2.5 million to have one parked inside my room. Um, instead, I only paid a couple of hundred dollars um, for it. And it is an amazing, an amazing uh, uh, set. So um, let's show you guys around. So it's really a little heavy when it's now all complete. So there it is, the nice wheels right there. Uh, with, the book, with the Bugatti logo on it. Um, the hood, of course, flaps up and down if I wanted to. It has a uh, serial number inside, which I don't know if I should show you guys, but I don't think it's that important. Uh, but yeah, so when you flap down, up and down the hood, bam, bam. I have it up just because it looks really cool like that. Um, the nice looking uh, Bugatti logo right there. Let's see if it can focus. No, it's not just want to focus. Uh, and then of course the tail, which is amazing. Um, it goes up or down, up or down. Uh, of course, wheels roll. It is so detailed inside. I'm gonna, of course, uh, switch some camera views while I'm talking. Uh, so inside, of course, you have the wheel. You can actually control it. So the wheels go side to side, uh, which is really neat. Uh, the shift gear here uh, actually does the noises, which is really, really cool. Um, doors open, close, fantastic looking car. Like I said, it looks exactly like the real thing almost. Um, it comes with a little exclusive little handbag right there that you can make. Uh, and you just put it inside the trunk of the uh, car. And of course the back, which looks really really cool um, so yeah like I said two weeks it took me um, and also what is really awesome about this set is the box it came in so the box is a big box of course um, the manuals there's two parts manuals uh, the first manual of course was just for the motor but also the manuals are really high uh, how do you call it high quality paper uh, that they used and some of the awesome pictures that they took uh, comparing the motor and the Lego motor, the real car versus the Lego car. Um, it's just an awesome, awesome pictures to look at. Um, and what's also cool is uh, on the, how do you call it, on the cover, I guess, of the box or the inside part of the top part, uh, you get to see all the other history cars of Bugatti as well, which is really neat. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a challenge uh, and you're looking for a cool, cool uh, set piece uh, to have, um, because this is probably going to stay here, it's never going to go anywhere else, um, then I highly recommend it. But you also have to have time and patience because I will get angry at some points because I'll mess up. Uh, but yeah, I'm liking it. I'm happy it's finally finished. Now I can finally uh, find a better spot for it uh, somewhere in my room here. But it is an amazing, amazing uh, piece to have if you want to uh, buy it and have a challenge yourself. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And as always, I will see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>